Hey, hey, welcome back. I'm going to be doing another recording on how to deal with uh, Brit Blobs and 1v1s. So for this game, I'm going to go back to um, Wehrmacht. Uh, I know somebody asked for DAC. I'm going to get to that as soon as possible. Sorry for the slowed speech. My concussion's acting up, so... Um, right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and make uh, Grenadiers. I'm going to have these Engineers go ahead and cap the fuel over here first. With the Brits, I usually would take the Munis, but with these guys, I'm not going to be going uh, Breakthrough Battle Group. So, no MP40s. Again, I wanted to show pretty much how easy it is to play Wehrmacht, even without the MP40 build. Because, again, I keep, see he yeah, I keep seeing and hearing Wehrmacht underpowered, right? So, I'm going to be doing this without MP40s. I'm going to have fun with it as well. And, you know, Sandbag, just in case he comes back here, always necessary. Engineers are going to cap. I put them on the edge. Saves you time every time you cap. And I'm going to go ahead and build another sandbag right here. You know, uh, just in case he takes this wall. So, good cover. There's the first grenadier out. I believe they're going to go ahead and make sandbags right here. Boom. There we go. And first sandbag. Second grenadier in the build. And, uh, you know, when, in this game, I was constantly checking what the commander, the Brit, was going to go. He didn't pick a commander until very late. And that's pretty smart. It keeps your enemy on the toes and you don't know what to do. But he goes infantry company. So I immediately counter with Luftwaffe because cheaper infantry, overpowered infantry, right? And planes. And that kill tanks. Super easy. But that's later on in the game. Okay, Grenadiers are capping, sandbags squared away. I'm going to go ahead and put them on the edge. You know, no counterattacks coming. These guys are going to go ahead and put a sandbag down here and cap. And again, I've got all these units uh, moving nonstop when I'm playing this game. These guys are capping right now. Ordinarily, I would say put it on the edge, but you never know if the Brits are coming, so keep them in cover right here. Okay, Grenadier's cap. They're about to take off. Boom. Getting the cap down here. I'm also constantly peeking. His engineers could rush me at any time, so I was very nervous on these sandbags. Sandbags up, so I'm not too scared. And I have additional squads in support, so engineers rush me. I can run uphill, or I can hold my uh, ground and wait for these guys to reinforce. And then merge. Buying me more time. Okay, I notice the engineers don't come at me, and I'm just going to keep pushing. Engineers capping, getting those VP sandbags down. Now two sandbags on the VP, wider point, and it's going to be a little bit harder for the enemy to get behind cover, as you can tell. And there's the engineers. But the Brit engineers are overpowered. Again, I'm making fun of the uh, Wehrmacht mains. They're so scary. How do I deal with it, spilt milk? Uh, you know, just don't fight them in the early game. Get away from them. Too easy. So Brit's like... Oh boy, I'm going to cap your backfield. I go, fuck that shit. Yeah, yeah, we're going to take this manpower point, and we're going to take his fuel. So, even though he's getting mine fuel, I'm going to cut off all this shiza right here. Because fuck him, that's why. And there's another squad of engineers. But the boy engineers are so scary. Oh no, and my backup has arrived. My third squad is out. I'm going to go ahead and hold my ground long range. I feel safe. If he closes in, these engineers will gun him down. And look at that. He's trying to take cover, but... Uh, it's jacking them up. He can't get all the units on behind the sandbag. And Brit Engineers came out, but I got the decap up here. And that's fine. Uh, but the Brit Engineers! I ran away. Ooh, they're so scary. Again, for my new players, I'm not making fun of you. I'm making fun of the uh, dick-sucking Wehrmacht mains. They are infesting the co-servers. Oh my. And mortars are hitting me right now. I'm going to go ahead and scoot these guys out of range. Remember, you can dodge the mortars. He's barraging right here. I'm going to scoot and get the cap still. So there's his fuel denial going on. Here's the engineers again. I feel comfortable with this fight. I'm going to go ahead and double up behind that green cover. Engineers, I can constantly merge into them. Uh, so I have close range firepower. And look at those. Those engineers are getting melted. Now, I did see somebody in the comments of my video saying Axis OP, saying uh, one Brit engineer squad can take on... Um, two Wehrmacht squads, but it looks like I won that engagement easily with two Wehrmacht squads, so I, I don't know if he's blind or he sniffs Axis Copium in the morning, uh, but you know what, if anybody could get back to me on that, that'd be great. But the boy engineers, and I'm going to go ahead and run away again, and yeah, I'm being a little bit sarcastic with this match today, because this was a prime example of why Brit engineers are not OP, you just got to figure out what to do. Once again, highly recommend what I did. I vetted up my riflemen, veteran C1, they're gonna kick ass. Go ahead and get some sandbags down. If you're gonna play Wehrmacht, I don't have a problem with that. But don't complain, it's underpowered if you don't make your sandbags or cover. There's my first MG, because uh, I'm not using the MP40 build, so I need something to uh, work with these guys. My CO2 veterans understand that when you played conscripts, um, you needed MGs to work with them, you know? You needed that synergy, um, what's it called? 
support weapons to help the squads out. Now, when you we played Co2 back in the day with the conscripts, the uh, German players said get good at the game. Now the German players have to play like conscripts and they're bitching and whining. Yeah, but it's so hard. It's not. And there's the mortars again. He's barraging me. I'm gonna put my tip of my foot in this point. I'm gonna cap. There's the sandbags I'm holding. I thought he was gonna counterattack me, but look at that. Even if he barrages you, you're safe and sound. And I take a little bit of damage while I'm still getting the cap. I'm gonna rotate the MG because I see this guy over here. Keep the Grins long range, MG's gonna support, and keep pressing. Alright, he's out of range, I'm gonna pick up, I'm gonna keep going. Still getting the cap, and I'm constantly worried about mortars changing targets. If you feel like I'm slow in this match, I apologize, my volume was down, concussion's acting up, I know I'm making excuses, but... Uh, I couldn't really hear where the mortars were coming, so I'll panic retreat a couple times. There's the overpower of Brent Engineers, sarcastically talking, by the way. And look, I'm gonna hit him with some delicious white phosphorus in the fucking mouth, yeah. And he gets peppered by my white phosphorus. He doesn't like it. Nine! Run away, you pig dogs. And there it is. I want to retreat that um, MG. I don't want to lose it. And I'm not going to uh, win that fight. That's too easy. Engineer's closing the gap. I try to get behind cover. I quickly realize I'm not going to win. At the same time, I'm all over the map right now. I'm fighting uh, uh, down here. I'm going up here, getting that manpower cap. I'm retreating. And on top of that, I am fucking with this medical. And eventually I'm going to retreat those engineers. And boom. So these are uh, replays. I play way faster in the game, so when I'm talking, I'm trying to keep up with it at the same time. And look at that. He, he's trying to um, do the scummy heal nonstop uh, meta, but that's been nerfed. There's the Panzerfaust. I say, fuck your medical. And I'm going to chill out over here. Yeah, you know, and that's why he's backing it off, because he realizes I'm on a little cooldown. 24 seconds, and that medical is gone, homie. No stress. Here's my Pegrin squad, because, again, play, you, you play um, Wehrmacht like you did KOTU's Conscripts. You need to constantly merge and support. I'm going to toss a nade on that. He's not paying attention. I realize this is a slower player. He just wants to blob. Too easy. And whippity whippity wipe. Yeah, Hans, did you see that explosion? Fucking delicious. And boom. Those are, There's the uh, Brits being so OP. Whew, man, I am really having a rough time here, guys. I'm being sarcastic, by the way. So, too easy. There's the MG. He did not make sandbags. This is why you want to make sandbags with your brand engineers. And look at all that model damage. I instantly suppressed him in about two to three bursts. And the mortars are coming. I panicked. I didn't realize he was shooting down here. I'm going to go ahead and scoot to the tip. Boom. I'm going to run these P-Grins up here because I'll win the fight no matter what. At the same time, capping. And I'm not teching into medical just yet because I have um, Veteran C1 for my players who didn't see the last uh, play. And I can heal in the field so mortars are zeroing me in charge through those mortars I, you know what he made two of them one uh 120 millimeter mortar and one regular um three inch mortar he's clapped on manpower that tells me he doesn't have any mg so charge push 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 like in the military if you're zeroed you gotta push fucking push through it don't sit there and take it you gotta push man and up here i'm gonna fall back too easy and again because he went double mortars uh no mgs and mass engineer spam for some reason I can easily win these fights. I'm going to go ahead and cap the manpower and take the fuel again. Which cuts him off from all this. And look at my map control. Too easy. p are going to cap. But the mortars are overpowered. I see a lot of people complaining about mortars. Man, just get out of the way. It's too easy. I take a little bit of damage because I'm constantly dodging. But as soon as this is decapped, he can't see me anymore. And I'm going to retreat. I realize I'm not going to win the fight. It's fine. Then here's the engineer spam. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, it's pretty disgusting, yeah. But, again, why are you going to sit there and fight it? Just run away. I've already did what I wanted to do. I decapped his manpower point. He's cut off. And I'm doing good. I do realize I floated about 600 manpower. I apologize about that. I was so fucking horn-dogged on getting this um, tank out right here that, honestly, I should have made another P-Grin. And I was debating what commander to go. I was thinking between Luftwaffe or Mechanized. But because I had such good fuel control and the Brit went the 120, I'm going to go Luftwaffe. And from there, I was debating whether to go Fallschirmjäger, which can easily be inf uh, Brit infantry, or hold out, go cheaper infantry reserves, and the Pegrim build is just going to dominate him. Because I'm going to merge and save a lot of money. And here's the Wehrmacht Pioneers. But you're, you're so underpowered. Look at my flamethrower damage. Wow. And watch me merge. Watch me fuck with this guy. Merge. But uh, Wehrmacht is just not good. Merge again. Oh, there you go. Look at that. And I'm keeping my best unit on the field. Play Wehrmacht like Co. 2 uh, Russian conscripts. And you're going to have a good time. Here comes the mass infantry charge. 
I'm not gonna call it a blob, just two infantry units. And here's my Stug. Here's my, um, you know, fucking Stug 3 fuck you counter offer. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit him. Engineers can't snare me. I don't believe he has any AT because he's been spamming infantry. And he wasted his money on the 120 mortar, like I was saying, it's too expensive. And look at that. Look at that Stug tear up infantry. And again, this is anti tank. This doesn't look like an anti tank to me. It looks like an anti everything. It's my fuck you button. Over here, I'm going to throw another nade. Boom! Big hit. Look at the Axis nades, man. Look at that. That's the stock nade. Fucking broken. Here's my MG capping. I feel very confident. There's the 120. I realize it's time to die. I've vetted this tank up. It's got the heat shells, point blank blast. I'm going to run into it. Keep chasing, keep chasing. Perfect point blank. Boom! Look at that. I'm going to run these guys now. I'm going to hit the charge button. Fuck you. Yeah, Hans. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Get that fucking shit. And it's mine. There is my fuck you package. Too easy, Parcheesy. I get hit by the base MG, but guess what? Mortars don't get suppressed, my guy. And I'm taking it. It's mine. Britt doesn't like that. Here's his counter offer. Reginald, get that shit back, my boy. Oh, no. There's the blob. An AT gun. What do I do? I back up. And it bounces because, you know, fucking Axis Bikes uh, kicks in. There's the Gurkhas. The Gurkhas are so overpowered. I swear, if you truly believe that, shut the fuck up. I can't, I just can't. And and I win again. Oh, but Wehrmacht, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, oh my goodness. Oh, sorry, I just, I can't, I can't stand it. I've been seeing in the co forms they're getting at it again. The Wehrmacht players are crying. And uh, look at that. I did that without teching MP40s. Going up against these super supposedly overpowered Brit engineers. And I just had fun. I was dodging mortars nonstop too. Those mortars should have killed me, right? Because apparently mortars are great. Oh, they're not too great if I move and micro. And I'm not beating my chest and saying I'm an amazing player. I'm just trying to point out, hey, this is not fair for allied players. But once again, I did check the guy's rank. Mm, he's not that high. I mean, I wouldn't say terrible, but at the same time... Uh, another thing I want to point out about this game, the meta kind of falls apart. Um... Um, excuse me, or the core gameplay kind of falls apart because I'm noticing a lot of players will just infantry spam and they'll hold cap points and that'll fuck you over. And I've had to actually counter that. I have lost a few games as Wehrmacht. I'm still holding a 70% win ratio because I haven't played them that much and I'm trying to learn them. And the 1v1s and the 2v2s, I think I'm like 75% or 80 almost. Something fucking ridiculous. But I'm learning them for the 1v1s. One thing I will say in defense of the Wehrmacht players is I get it. I get it. Until these guys get the Veteran C1, uh, you're being very tiptoe-ish on your engagements. But I kept everything 2 to 1. And it wasn't that hard. Um, but I do agree that mass infantry spam, holding the points, and waiting until you can get armor out, that's, that's kind of stupid. And this one, I'm all over the place. But I have fought people that will make about 5 riflemen. And I was trying something different. I didn't want to go infantry spam. And that ended, ended up costing me the game. Am I saying Wehrmacht underpowered? Not at all. But I am pointing out that this whole infantry meta of death gripping points, uh, that it is kind of retarded. Uh, if somebody takes offense to that, I, I grew up in, you know, uh, the early 2000s when nobody got fucking butt hurt over here in retard. So... I don't know what to say. I mean, shit, we grew up on Tropic Thunder. You never go full retard, my guy. But, yeah, uh, again, super easy game. Um, well, this is without the MP40s. Uh, I, w I wanted to keep testing them out and seeing how far I could push these uh, Grenadiers. I even stop at three. I mix up my build, constantly dodging mortars. No stress. There's the Gurkhas. I keep hearing how overpowered they are. They're really not. And I, I keep going Stug. And the reason is it's just so fucking versatile. I mean, man, you can do so much with it. Uh, like like you're, you're seeing uh, with those engineers, man. These, this hall MG burrs them down, and then the point-blank shot, I constantly save munis for it, and it just rips everything apart. And the, if you're wondering why I didn't plant any mines, uh, I mean, honestly, that's my fault, but because of this mass infantry spam, I didn't feel comfortable uh, kind of wasting mines. And it, and it paid off because I could throw nades, and the, this guy wasn't very good at his micro. Again, I'm not trying to be rude on the guy. Everybody's has his own flavor of gameplay, but th this uh, blobbing is disgusting. So, yeah. Um, 
I'm just showing another video because uh, I, I already got this feeling that somebody is going to say, well, you won with MP40, so let's let's keep pushing it with Wehrmacht and see how much I can tear shit up. But hope you guys have a good day, and I hope this uh, helps out with your gameplay. Oh, and also, before I forget, 11 minute GG. But Wehrmacht is so underpowered. <laughs> Alright, you guys have a good day.